Hello there. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you a quick update on some information uh, with the debt community. That, so that will include your uh, nodes. If you've got a node, hopefully you have. If you haven't, you should uh, definitely check out some of the other information I've got and more coming. And don't forget, if you want to find out heaps more information, keep up to date with exactly what's going on with this project, with the debt box and also with the IX Global project join our discord link in the description because i give you up-to-date news everything that's going on opportunities that are coming you'll get to know about the projects this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor consult a professional i'm not telling you what to do with your money but join the group so you can get an idea of what's going on because it's important stuff this is an important project very very serious project so if you don't know anything about the nodes, uh, you can uh, basically get a node and uh, the nodes are backed up by real world commodities. For example, oil, aluminium, uh, and uh, different uh, growing opportunities like cannabis and soybeans and, and uh, cocoa and stuff like that. Uh, and then you've got, you know, um, also the explorer side of it node which is actually the technology that they use to find uh, all these oil uh, sites and uh, other things that i'm going to talk about so just quickly what happens with the nodes and how they are actually backed by the commodity so what happens is when you purchase a node you get rewards daily now those tokens are listed and what happens is for example, let's take the Nat G node, for example, which is backed by natural gas. Okay, So what happens is when some of the natural gas is uh, mined, right? a percentage of that is used, the revenue from that is used to purchase the Nat G tokens and then burn them right, and send them to the burn wallet. So effectively reducing the supply the supply now this happens with all these different projects There's a lot of projects that haven't even started yet all right but they're available so what happens is they call this a burn right and so this happens periodically you won't know when because they don't want to tell everybody when this is happening because then there can be you know market manipulation with the tokens all right so now there was just one done there was actually two done uh the one let me have a look the one on uh, nat g Okay, there was 13.68 million worth of tokens bought and burnt uh, and the validation when they, the price of the actual token was uh, 0 0.0006 when they actually purchased them. 13.68 million burnt, gone, gone forever. Uh, they did the BGLD, which is the black gold one as well. Uh, that was 57.2 million worth burnt at the price of 0 0.011. Okay, so... You know, it, these projects are backed up by real world commodities. You don't need, uh, you know, we don't rely on people in crypto to come in and purchase tokens because, like all these other projects, the value comes from the revenue produced from these oil, from the natural gas, from the aluminum, from all these different sites. And the debt box has a technology to find these things. All right. And now, this video. What happened was the debt box team, uh, a lot of the team and also the CEO of IX Global were out on the Nebraska site and this is a site that uh, the debt box has okay, and that they're involved with that mines oil and soon natural gas as well or they are actually doing already natural gas and uh, what they have found with the technology that they've got, they've got this technology where they can scan, now they use Google Earth Satellite eventually they will have their own which is part of the actual explorer uh, project which i haven't gone into detail yet but i will but what happens is they scan they find all these targets and they're very pinpoint accurate okay with drilling with finding all the deposits now this video that i'm going to show you uh it's a bit raw because the you know i've tried to reduce a little bit of the background noise but it is still a little bit raw uh, but what this is is where the depth team went and also the IX Global CEO, and they went out to the Nebraska site, and the um, uh, the geo specialist that's on site there explains the 
uh, importance of what they've found, the site, the volume, uh, the technology, and everything. And look, I employ you as if you really want to know what you're investing in and you really want the first information coming out about all this and some validation, watch this video. I know it might be a little bit hard on the ears because it is a little bit like it's got this background noise. It's not a professional movie team or anything. But listen to this guy. I'm going to leave timestamps in the uh, description of really valid points, like, for example, some minerals that they've found. Now, I'll just quickly go into this because it's, it's actually very important. Now, this information that's going to be released on the 13th, and I think that this might be some of it. This is just, it's not inside information. It's just something that I'm sort of speculating. But what they've found is uh, rhodium when they've been drilling doing the oil and the natural gas, they've found rhodium, okay? Now, if you don't know what rhodium is, let me just give you a bit of an explanation about it. Okay, so rhodium is a tiny, I'm reading this off a script because, you know, I can't think of this off the top of my head. I can, but probably not as good. So rhodium is a tiny market in relation to all other precious metals. The vast majority of it comes from South Africa. Producers there get a mix of 60% platinum, okay, 30% palladium, palladium, and 10% rhodium from rarity alone. Rhodium should be the most expensive metal, okay, so from rarity alone. Okay, so, um, however, there is also the market to factor into the price. Unlike other precious metals, rhodium is not exchange traded. It is a true supply and demand type metal. An order can take weeks to be fulfilled. There are only two refiners producing bullion bars at this time, PAMP and Baird. The logistics of the market just adds to the price coming in well above gold, silver, platinum, and palladium, okay? Now, what they use it for, rhodium is used for plating jewelry. The metallic element is commonly used to plate white gold and platinum where it increases durability, prevents scratching, and improves brightness, okay? So rhodium is hypoallergenic and is often used as a protective coating for white gold which may contain nickel. So it's a very important metal, and they've found some. Okay, so what I'm probably predicting or speculating is um, there might be a node coming out with rhodium. I don't know. It's just me speculating. Um, but what they've also found is they've found 1.7 trillion uh, in value in natural gas. So if you've got a NatG node, there's going to be some good... I would predict there'd probably be some really good burns coming up for that, okay, because they've actually got more natural gas than they have in oil on that site. But this is the biggest, I've found that this is the biggest site of this kind for these type of minerals in North America. All right, it's huge. And I've got it. All right. So that means that, uh, you know, these nodes should do very well. That's what I'm predicting. I mean, look, everything's risky, anything can happen, but that's what I'm predicting. All right. Now, another part of this video is uh, the actual land, uh, the, the landowner comes in at part of the video. I'll timestamp this and he actually mentions about previous miners coming to his property and drilling and the the uh, holes just being dry and not being able to find anything. And then this crew comes along, the debt box comes along, they find the oil. They not only find the oil, but when you're drilling, they use a specific type of drill that when it's drilling, it pushes water. It uses water to push down and to obviously to keep everything cool while it's drilling, and it just helps moistening and you know helps the drill go down quicker. So they need water, and what they need to do is they need to cart water because this is in a remote site, right, in Nebraska, on this huge property. So what they have to do is they have to uh, transport water all the time, okay, and bring that to the site and use that for the drill. Well, what they did is they actually were able to they actually found water while they were drilling, so they've actually got that as an automatic resource for the drills, which is pretty incredible. Um, so uh, just something that I also wanted to mention is the B, the BGLD, the black gold uh, the black gold nodes, which is you know backed by oil, which have actually sold out now. Uh, but anyway, that's created 300 millionaires. So I mean, that's just something to note, um, you know, moving forward with these other nodes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you watch this video. Now, look, like I said, it is a bit rough with the audio, but listen to the guy and I'll leave timestamps and just listen to him because if you're not bullish after this, then there's something wrong. All right. So I'll let, I'll let you to it. I'll let you watch it. And uh, I might pop in every so often and just uh, give a quick breakdown or part of the video, but enjoy. All right, 
and uh, hope to see you in the Discord group. Heard of an MRI before? You probably, perhaps, have had one. They put you in a very large electromagnet, and you lay in there, and they energize that, that magnet. And what that magnet does is it's reading your body. It finds bone, it finds metal, it finds uh, everything you know, in a very uh, definitive layers. The same thing is true with this technology. The energy is the sun, and the sun um, is, is, is obviously very powerful, the Earth is very small, and this tremendous electromagnetic wave is completely bombarding the Earth. It goes around all sides, you've probably seen this on National Geographic, and it actually penetrates the Earth and goes all the way through. And on the dark side of the Earth, there's a shadow that emits 200 miles, and it's this shadow that we're reading. And we're looking, the Earth is a big magnet, we have an energy source, we're looking in that shadow for the spin of the elements, just like an MRI does. We triangulate that with other satellites to figure out exactly where it's at. Okay, so that's the very basis. So MRIs are identical to the technology that we're okay. So I'm going to show you from Google Earth. It's crazy simple. It's mm -hmm. simple. This, this is the target that we we refined this target 12 years ago. We we had a team that did a, a flight over this area, and we were looking at gamma waves. And we found a very large gamma wave over this. This are actually several gamma waves in the area, and we decided to study it because uh, one, it's on private land, so we don't have to worry about permits. You know, uh, we're also involved in federal land, which is very um, Owners with uh, government agencies. This one we thought, ah, oh, great, you know, let's find something on private land. Um, what you see on the screen is uh, the location that you're actually standing on. This is the this is the well, and the the location that we're on, um, you know, is indicating that we've got oil here from 7467 to 7484. This, by the way, this shot was done in 2019. Mm. And uh, so we see, you know, we, we define the, the, the various elements um, in the layers by color. And these colors are only colors that we make up. This is a, a bar, a sandbar, an ancient sandbar that filled with oil. Very common out here. There's about 150 oil fields in this area. They range, the largest is 88 million barrels of oil. Big deal. The rest of them, you know, between a million and 25 million in size. And this one here, you know, has a, about um, uh, 8 million barrels like this, in this, this size. The lower rust color is, is what we estimate is the, the dolomite. We can't be sure because you know the well well controlled wells that were previously drilled in this area are not close enough to basically uh, define this. Um, I think I told you that um, previously the technology we were in the Gulf of Mexico. This is an image of the Gulf of Mexico. This is where the technology was in a floating cable, NMR. We discovered using that electromagnetic four fields in the Gulf of Mexico. Four majors, major oil companies. Um, the law that we actually drill on this location, and by the way, we started April 1st here, just to put this into perspective. On April 1st, you know, this is what we have. A hole in the ground, ready to be drilled. That's Horatio DeCon. He's our petroleum engineer. He's on his way here. You'll meet him. He's from New Zealand. He's been all over the world, offshore or onshore. Very experienced um, man. The 
this is the prognosis uh, that I um, put together prior to drilling. We put this together based on well control. We looked at wells north, south, east, west, around us. We find out where they intercepted the zones. And of course, we correlate that with what our, our technology is saying. And you can see 7467, on this. And these are the Niberera, all the sandstones. These are all the formations that we drilled through down to, to the 7467. Um, and again, the one we're interested in here, it, it could be the Atoka. We, based on well control, it should be Atoka, but based upon everything else we know, we, we think that it is it's a dolomite because it's so deep. When you go this deep, you go through all the sandstones and shales, and then you get down to the base basement. And the basement of this area is dolomite. Just so you know, dolomite as a formation is the largest producing formation in the world. The biggest fields that you may have heard about, Gwar, Saudi Arabia, is perhaps the largest that people are familiar with. It's 197 billion barrels of oil. Now, that field was discovered in 1954. And when the geologists who had been drilling all over the United States went to Saudi Arabia for the first time, they were invited. You know, they saw these tremendous anticlines. It's 100 and, and um, 60 miles long. And they said, it's too big. It can't be. I mean, it's just, just too big. And, and it wasn't too big. You know, they drilled that. Most, and, and those wells came in at 50,000 barrels a day. So everything that I'm telling you is based on dolomite. We don't know this is dolomite until we drill it. So as I said, that story could get better because the average dolomites in the United States and around uh, produce thousands of barrels a day. You don't have to frack them. They are regular. They are the very nature of the calcium, magnesium. When they come together, they, they produce almost petals like a flower. And they have infinite porosity, infinite permeability. They have a 100% recovery, which means you're going to get all the oil out of that formation. Sandstones, you get an average of 25%. So, as I said, the story could get better than what we think. Okay. What's the timeline to get down to something like that, just out of curiosity? Based on current... It's a very good question. You know, normal drilling you know, is about between uh, 100 to 300 feet per day. Um, I have a, 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 a proprietary technology, it's a magic mud uh, that we drill with, that uh, we've tested um, in previous wells. And in fact, in, in uh, this well here, we attain 300 feet per hour. Um, there, are, there are always complications and you can't always drill continuous because you have, something breaks down, so you have to stop, right? If you have a part, you have to wait, you have to, you know, circulate and wait for that to happen. But for continuous drilling, we should make it down on this formation in just a couple of days. And we hope that um, with this rig being a fairly new rig, being sitting there for five years, we hope we get all of the stuck parts unstuck and all, everything is moving um, so in coordination with the drilling, and we can be down in 600 feet, uh, theoretically, if you could do it one day. Uh, we're going to go fast enough to reach the formation, but not so fast that we drill in a, a crooked hole. We're employing a mud motor, which is a, a motor that uses fluid, a stator, um, like a Achilles, uh, like a Archimedes screw, you probably know, uh, which basically uses a screw and a stator, and it pushes fluid through. When that's attached to a, uh, a drill bit, that, that rig is turning at six times um, for every six revolutions that that rig is turning, the mud motor is turning 60 times. So it is going like a, a very high speed drill. Okay. And consequently, you can drill faster using this. So we employ mud motors on this, and we employ a magic mud to, uh, to drill faster. Uh, the log in this case, I want to show you because you, you know um, you can see the date here is uh, June third of two thousand twenty-two. This was logged by um, Midwest Wireline. Uh, they actually logged this. They had to log it three times because we could not get the logging tool down. We had um, shales and 
we had a fresh water zone that was swelling and so although the tool is only three inch tool and you got an eight inch hole it literally wouldn't go down you can't force them down it's on a cable but they they weigh twenty thousand pounds and they should you know go down but it didn't so we had to do it three times this is the third run uh, we could not get to the to the bottom our key zone which was um, the 70 467. You can see this is the portion of log. This is oil. There's 7450. There's 7460. Seven is right here. Okay. And this is the oil deposit that we that we did. We also hit, and I projected in the Nibrera because I mapped this area. We could see faults. We know where there is Nibrera is a shale. It's like a cracker, and when you when you compress it, it fractures all the way through. We had about 110 feet of gas in the Niobrara. Now, one thing about the Niobrara is uh, Niobrara doesn't have gas. It's only an oil uh, formation. It normally has no water, by the way. And so we know that the gas is migrating from below. It's charged that through the fractures. And because it has porosity permeability, it's been fractured, it's filled up with gas. And it had a lot of gas. I mean, everybody extinguished their cigarettes and we don't allow smoke down the rig, but even far away, that wave can go and you could start a fire, but it was, you could smell gas all the way around the rig. And um, so we we know we've got oil here and we, we probably have enough oil in this one zone alone that if we were to stop today, run casing and complete it here, it would be a small well, probably 10 to maybe 18 barrels a day. But if you do that on a continuous basis, you have about um, a year, two years payout. The average on oil and gas is three years payout. We're looking for something so big that we get immediate payout, fast payout, uh, lots of production. We also found, you know, an occurrence of a lot of, of different anomalies out here. All these great anomalies are there's additional areas that we looked at, but not nearly as big as what we're drilling on. I mean, not even close. And you know, these may be one to three million barrel fields. But what we're looking below is could be a hundred million barrel field. And that's what our focus is as a company. Um, we formed, we bought four oil, oil rigs. We formed Archer Drilling Company. It owns this rig and four additional ones. Um, this rig here has uh, only drill, I think, four holes before this time. Very good condition. We got it at a very good price. Wow. Um, I will just briefly discuss uh, some of the technologies that. Well, let me let me go to this one because I think you'll find it interesting. We mapped the water here, as uh, Ronnie had said, and the area of the water is in blue. And the, the rust coming through is areas where the water is not. Okay. So we were originally going to drill right here, okay, right where it says oil 74. That's where our location was. But I moved it down here because I didn't want that into the water zone. I didn't want the incursion of water while we're, while we're drilling. But I wanted a water well close enough that we don't have to go for miles to get water because water is very expensive to, to ship, to move. It's heavy, you know. and. Um, so I picked up the water just south of the 19 to 273 feet of water. And Gene is the best witness because he was there when he drilled it. The water well driller didn't think there was any water here. He said, there's no water here. He was feeding water to it the entire time. And even Gene said to me, I'm not sure, James, there's any water here. Because the guy said, there's no water. I said, Gene, just tell him, leave that well and put a pump in. He says, you sure? That's going to be like $4,000 for that pump. I said, put a pump in the ground. Let's pump it. Let's see what happens. And Gene said, it's unbelievable, you know, we filled that pit in like three days, you know, continued to never pump down, very beautiful water, you know, exactly 40 feet difference, but we moved from where the water, where this, where the pit point on satellite says, we moved closer to the rig because I didn't want to be 800 feet from it. So it worked out perfectly. We've got as much water as we'll ever need to drill it, and of course we have, um, you know, the oil, the resource below. We um, just a quick
push the pump in on the water. Yeah. Yeah. And James says, drill the water here. It's like, dude, it's on top of a hill. Let's move the water down here to the bottom. <laughs> I have irrigation wells just a mile away in the bottom. That's where we should probably go. But he said, no, this is where we want to drill. It's like, okay. <laughs> and so we did. And it is. It is a really good water well. And so it was like, Maybe this technology is working. <laughs> so, so, and then, so then when we drill walk, drill the oil well, we're going to hit oil here. It's like my family has owned land in this area for around 80 years. We've been drilled on a lot, and all we have is dry holes. Now we have a hole out here that has oil in it. And it's like, hmm, maybe this technology has got something going on. You know? <laughs> and while I got your attention, just one more comment. This was a uh, pasture, April 1st. Everything you see here was just pasture. There was nothing here on April 1st. April 3rd or 4th, I remember the bulldozer and started digging the ponds. We have the High West brought electricity in. We've got four power poles. We have uh, three phase electricity here now. We have a water well. <clears throat> and then now we have a sewer system out here. We put in a septic tank and a beach field for our man camp. And, uh, you know, we got the pad, we drilled one oil well, 7,500, took that rig down. This rig was sitting in Fallon, Nevada on June 20th. June 20th, I started moving this sucker here with a bunch of neighbors, semis, 45 semi truckloads later, just sitting here. It's up, and that thing was up by July, 1st, July 31st. Wow. So we get stuff done out here and we can duplicate it for now i got the rig here in nebraska and we got all these other targets we can duplicate it and walk quicker than what it's taken so far but everything you see has been done in four months yeah i mean when we first got here there it was snowing <laughs> <laughs> everybody keeps telling me that and you told me how cold it was and we came out here and i got summer like a son of a gun <laughs> um you know, one of the technologies that we control is a is a oil cleaning technology. And I want to talk about that for a minute because the whole industry has now gone to solar because they want clean energy. We have a technology that can take oil that looks like this. This is very contaminated oil. And we can turn that into this. You'll notice that this is the same jar, and this area here is coffee color. So we've completely changed that oil. In the top, all the contaminants are in the bottom of the jar. All the metals, we had phosphates of 27 or ppm, got it down to 1 ppm. We had copper of 600 down to 2 ppm. Lead, you know, which of course they're trying to get out of it, eliminated the lead entirely. And, um, we, we can do this with, uh, with ease. It's not something that is tremendously difficult, but it's proprietary. And the oil that we're going to produce here will be coming out as the greenest, cleanest oil that you could have in the environment. And uh, we've tested, we've got lab tests, we've got it all blueprinted, we know uh, what to do. So we want to be known as a company that's environmentally conscious. We've got very good oil. Um, there's an aspect of this to carbon credits, which we're going to take advantage of, which uh, is extendable to what you're doing with your point. And uh, we believe that it's going to be revolutionary to uh, the business. We're going to get a higher price for the crew. So we're going to get higher BTU in the, in the oil. So BTU determines exactly what you get paid. And of course, when you burn this in an automobile, exactly how, how powerful that is, right? The premium gas is higher BTU gas. Um, you know, we found uh, the largest metal deposit in North America. This is a giant um, pipe. It's a volcano. You, you've probably seen on National Geographic uh, the smokers in the bottom of the ocean. There's millions of them. Mm -hmm. What's happened over time, Pangea was one nation, and then it broke up over time. We went over these pipes. When those pipes, when, that, when, those, when those plates go over these pipes, these pipes emit 
methane gas. Methane gas, the earth is filled with methane gas. And the chemistry behind this is that these sponges are coming up, they hit the base of the crust. The base of the crust has, has a, a mineral called serpentinite. Serpentinite is um, a mineral related to the asbestos family. And um, you may know from your history, those of you who study history, 1945, United States, uh, in fact, uh, Europe, we, we blew up the refineries in Germany, in, in the German US forum. And they were able to create gasoline after we blew them up, and we could not figure out how. But there's two scientists, the Polish Fischer and Trop, they use serpentinite and natural gas under pressure, and they convert that to oil. The Earth is doing the same thing every day. This is where oil comes from. For those who think it comes from bugs, it's not true. What happens is the bugs want to eat the oil just like you eat oil, okay? Um, and, and so the bugs move in. And there are organisms that they have found that will produce oil, but not on the volumes that we know have to, um, have to come out in order to produce you know, the millions of barrels of these fields, okay? So we know we can, we can, first of all, we have definitive proof in this pipe here because we have identified the largest oil target in North America. I'll show you that. By the way, this whole blue section here is platinum. These are 20 acre claims. This is rhodium. Okay, we have 80 acres of rhodium. Rhodium, by the way, goes for $21,000 per ounce. The total value of this pipe, if you have one gram of metal, is $6.6 trillion. Just to put it into perspective how big it is. Wow. <laughs> the, the oil deposit that we've identified is here. Okay. Now, this is the pipe I just showed you. It's the color's been overlaid, so you can't see it in the same color that I showed you, but this is a separate oil field that is coming out of this pipe. We found four pipes we've identified in this area, responsible for producing the largest field that we found in North America. The, the violet area here is a thousand feet thick, 12,789 to 13,354 is natural gas. That's 900 feet of natural gas. Eight square miles in size. This here? To put that into perspective, that is twice the size of the Baja rain field in the Middle East. This is here? Or this is in Nevada. Nevada. This oh, is Nevada. 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 Wow. It's twice the size of the Baja rain field. I, I've got a question. So, the scan technology makes all this possible? That is correct. Wow. Thank that you. is correct. And the lower deep pilot is natural gas liquids. That's 18 square miles in size, 100 feet thick. If you do the, and this is oil here that we, we are drilling. We drill uh, well. We're continuing to drill this next week. We've just been given approval. We're at 6,100 feet. We've already intercepted oil in the first chain that we identified here. And we are literally 1,400 feet from an oil pool that is um, 100 million barrels in size. In Nevada. And yeah. Um, yeah. we also drill, by the way, uh, the metal, the, these veins you see here, these veins go right through our well pad. And I drilled those veins, and we have the assays on them. The assays are a half ounce of PGM metals and an ounce of gold. Okay? And, um, and we also went through a pool of metal underneath our rig. The rig literally drilled through it. And we have copper and gold at 1,100 feet, and it is uh, the richest um, lading deposit on planet Earth, according to our XRF. We have about 4% of that deposit. So very, very, very rich. If you take the oil deposit here, which is uh, 1,000 feet thick, and you do the numbers, we have estimated 580 million barrels of oil in that just the oil deposit, not including the secondary deposit here. If you calculate the gas, the equivalent of this, you have um, about eight, $800 billion worth of natural gas. And you have about $400 billion in natural gas liquids. Altogether at $25 oil, you have about $1.7 trillion. Let me back up. We also have identified helium gas. Enriched helium gas in both the liquids and the natural gas. Um, and when you take that into account, you get about 800 billion more. Okay? 
So mm -hmm. we have what we estimate is the biggest deposit in North America. So, so who owns a Nat G license, just out of curiosity? Yeah, who, who owns a Nat G license? <laughs> just, just wanted to... <laughs> okay, just wanted to double check here. Hey, James, we got a time crunch. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I'm done unless you have any questions. Okay, so as you just saw, you know, there's many reasons to be bullish with this project. Uh, you know, the, the sheer volume of, you know, what, what's the potential of what can be mined in different metals, uh, in oil and natural gas, uh, rhodium. Now, I mean, look, it could be helium, the next node. Who knows? But I know that there's something coming because there's a, a meeting, a um, live event on the 13th, so and they've, got, they've got an announcement. So just, you know, if you're... Uh, if you're keen to get into something new, could be an option then. I'll be posting that update because I'm in that meeting, uh, in that event. So I'll be posting the update in my Discord group. So just remember, if you want to get any new information, anything about this project, join the Discord group. Okay. Now, right now, uh, if you look above the video, you'll be able to see that there's a link and that will take you to another video that I've made and that will show you exactly how to sign up and how to get yourself a note if you want to do that, okay? Uh, or you can just stay watching this video now. Okay, so now as you can see here, this here is actually the link that you need. Now that'll be in the description or if you're in the Discord group, it'll be in the channel that says getting started, okay? All you've got to really be aware of is the name crypto is key. Okay, because that's what you'll need to make sure is that I'm your sponsor and then I'll be able to activate you. Okay, so once you're on this page, then all you need to do is click on enroll now. And then once you're here, just fill in your details as you would any other, uh, you know, account set up. And then once you've actually finished that and you've, you know, uh, verified your email and everything, then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so once you've uh, logged in, you should see a page like this. Now, there's a few things that you need to do. The first thing you need to do is you need to subscribe and purchase a package. Okay, now that is a subscription. Uh, you can actually cancel it, but it depends what you want to do on this platform. If you're just looking for a node, then you can actually just purchase the cheaper one. Uh, and what you can do, because for now, when you purchase a package, you're actually purchasing hosting as well, because your node needs to be hosted. Okay, so, uh, but in the near future, you'll be able to host that yourself. If that's what you want to do personally, I'm just hosting mine for now uh, until they release what's called the debt box, which is where you can actually host a few licenses or nodes on the actual debt box. But for now, uh, the easiest way is to just get a, a simple subscription, a basic subscription. And uh, this one here, the net package is probably the easiest one. Now, what you need to do too is you need to make sure that you do your KYC, but you can do that after you've purchased everything, okay? Because the only reason that you need to do KYC is when you want to actually withdraw rewards from your node, okay? And that's when you have to have your KYC done, all right? So the best practice is to purchase a package, and I'll show you where they are. So if we come to purchase package here, we click on that, and then purchase package. Now, you can see there's all these different ones. Okay, now all of these have relevant reasons why you'd want them. But for a basic node, if that's all you're interested in, nothing else, then you would choose this one. Now, the basic package, there's a lot of components to this project. This is IX Global which is separate from Debtbox. However, they have purchased all the licenses for the nodes off the Debtbox at a discount price because when the projects were first released, they were able to buy them in bulk and that's why they're able to sell them to you cheap and that's why you're able to get them at this price, okay? So therefore, purchasing a subscription for $50 is actually nothing in comparison to what you're getting if you were to purchase directly from Debtbox, which... For example, the Nat G node, which is now four and a half thousand, you would pay north of forty thousand for it on the debt box. Okay, so a fifty dollar subscription is not that much. 
So, but that gives you that gives you uh, basic options. Now, if you go for the the basic package, what that will do is that will allow you to be qualified for commissions. Okay. Now, there is a binary system to that, which is quite uh, incredible if you want to pursue that. So, if you're somebody that you know is a team builder that wants to pursue that side of it. Uh, then I definitely recommend the basic package. But if you're just going for the node, then uh, this. But if you do want to, you know, if you think you're going to have a few people that will want to sign up using your link, okay, and they want a node as well, because, you know, this, this project is incredible. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, uh, if you weren't one of the people that uh, just watched the video, but you're actually just watching the install uh, the uh, purchasing of a package in Node, then you should watch the video that I've just made uh, on um, on the actual live uh, the geologist on site in Nebraska on the mining side. Okay, it was incredible. Some of the information and the potential of this project is huge. All right, so what you know, like what what I would recommend you do, you can always upgrade. You know, you can always upgrade these packages. That's what I did. I purchased this $115 one now, uh, first, and then I bought the Pro Pack, and I'm probably going to go to the Premium Package next, okay? But these are not the nodes. These are just a subscription. This is what allows you to purchase a node, all right? So all you need to do is click on Upgrade, all right? And then come down here, and all you got to do is put in uh, your name. So I'm just going to put in... I'll put in the uh, thing here, uh, Wendy, and give an ID for now. I'm just going to um, do as uh, you, you need to put a, a prop one in here, but I'm just going to put that in here for now, okay? And accept and continue. Okay, it's, it's, it's asking for valid, it's probably because I've put something, you know, uh, a little bit, <laughs> it's, it's not picking it up, so you will need to do. Uh, put in something valid. So let me just have a look here. Okay, so I just had to get this is actually my wife's name, so I'm using my wife's uh, details to sign up for this video tutorial, just so it's legit. So I've got her uh, license number in here, which I've blocked out obviously, obviously for this video. Uh, so now I'm going to click on accept and continue. We should be good to go now. Okay, good. Okay, now we're here. Loud motorbike outside. It's Friday night, it's probably why. Uh, so this is where you can uh, actually uh, choose the node that you want. Okay, so you can actually choose the node here that you want. But if you try and purchase one, hold on, let me just have a look down here. Yeah, see here? Okay, I've already got the WE. Okay, you can see here, it's right on here. So this is already in my cart. So you've got to scroll right down to the bottom, okay, because that's what I chose. All right, so now you can add the node at the same time when you check out okay or you can buy your subscription first now what will happen is when you purchase these you will actually I will need to activate you so I will leave a email but if you just come to the group if you join up at the dis in my discord in our discord it's a community discord if you join up in there you can contact me I'm in there all day okay but if for some reason you can't contact it can't contact me uh, then I will leave my email. It's just Shane, S-H-A-Y-N-E, at CryptoIsKey.com, okay? CryptoIsKey being my YouTube name, YouTube name, so Shane, S-H-A-Y-N-E, at CryptoIsKey.com. But I'll leave that in the description for you as well. Um, so you got to get the subscription. Like I said, if your plan, you can always upgrade. So just if you get the cheaper one, it's probably better to get that to start with. And then if you want to upgrade after you learn more about the project, uh, the, you know, the comp plan side of it, the referral side of it. It's a different type of system. It's incredible. But if you want to do that, then you obviously want to change your subscription. But you can do that later. So for now, we've added that $50 one. So you can see it's right at the bottom here. It's in our cart. Okay, so now we can look at the node that we want. Now, at the time of this video, uh, the Illum nodes, which are aluminum, they mine for aluminum, uh, but they're still not activated yet. They're activated in the fact that you'll still get rewards, but there's no pricing structure yet because they're not actually mining it yet. But when they do, you'll see what will happen to the price. Okay, so right now, 
these are fifteen hundred dollars each okay now the DLG is one for gold uh, I will leave all the well actually what you can do is you can see these promotional this promotional tools here if you go to this and you go to download resources let me just open this in another tab here okay so I'll just show you this so you can actually go through and have a look before you purchase a node I have all the information in my group but this is a good way so you come to download resources all right and if we come across to here you can see that there's all the information okay there's a lot of information here uh, everything that you need to know literally okay so like say for example you want to know about let's just have a look here so let's say for example you want to know about the aluminum node okay now that we've clicked on this download resources if we come over here we can come down and we can find the aluminum node which is right here see it here okay and it's the light paper so if we preview that click on preview we can now go through and have a look and see what it's all about okay and if you like it if you like what it's all about then this would be one that you'd want to get okay uh, now like I said there's I have a lot of information personally I own two of these okay and I'm going to be buying more uh, I own I don't own this one this is actually a gold one but it's sort of the rewards are a little bit lower it's more of a sort of a stable one but it's still a good one uh, the grow one is an incredible one uh, which I still am yet to get but I'm going to get uh, and the XBLR this one here is an explorer one now I'm not too sure why it's still a thousand it actually doesn't look like it's been updated yet this should be uh, 1250 but it looks like it hasn't the price hasn't been updated yet so this is a good chance and a good time to get it <laughs> okay so I'm going to add this one because I actually I've got one of these on my main account but for my wife I'll get her one of these because look this is a great node this is actually this node is to do with the scanning technology that they actually use to find the oil wells and the natural gas and you know all these new minerals and everything that you just saw in the video if you're watching the video this continuation of the last video uh, if you haven't please watch the video before this one because this will make you bullish okay so the Explorer is actually this node will be backed up by uh, fees and everything that are used for the scanning technology okay so this and this is not re this is not released the tokens released but the pricing structure not the actual way that the node gets um, the actual coins the tokens get burnt and taken out of uh, supply to make it more valuable make the tokens more valuable this hasn't even started on this project yet nor the aluminum okay so there's a lot more to come so this one here right now this is a good node okay now uh, I'm going to get this but I just want to show you the Nat G uh, which is down here okay now the Nat G is the natural gas one okay now what happens with this this is actually they're already starting to to accumulate or to mine nat natural gas because wherever there's oil there's usually natural gas okay it's part of it so this one here has already had its first burn which means there was revenue already um, accumulated created from natural gas okay so they've already sold some they got some revenue and then they've with that revenue a percentage of that revenue they've purchased some of the nat g tokens and then when they purchase them they take them out of circulation because they burn them they throw them into a burn wallet so obviously it's depleting the supply okay so when you get something when the supply is going down the price is eventually going to go up and these nodes get more expensive over time okay because there's only x amount of licenses so when these licenses are uh, you know as they get as more and more get sold the price starts to rise okay so you know it's going to cost you more in the future with all these nodes now just a quick note that once these nodes are once all the licenses have been purchased they then get turned into an nft okay now what's amazing about this is that in the future if you want to sell your node you can do that just via an nft okay it's perfect it's a perfect way to do it all right so you can look at this as a long-term investment not just as something that you want to get rewards off personally me I'm accumulating as many tokens mining as many as I can I'm not selling one not for a long time when I see the price is right I will I'll take some profit but it won't be for a while okay because this is all new you're still early okay so net G token is the natural gas one it's backed by natural gas okay the grow one is backed by 
uh, a lot of they have a lot of uh, things in Ghana, okay, like uh, cocoa and soybeans. This is also backed up by cannabis as well uh, and carbon credits, which is huge. Okay, so the grow one I think is a good one as well. That's already active. Okay, um, so there is a few here, but like I said, you can come here. If you just come into that link that I showed you, okay, the download resources, just come in here. Like, for example, if you wanted to look at the Grow one a little bit, uh, the XPLR, you know, if you have a look at the XPLR, which is the Explorer one, this is one I'm going to purchase right now. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so you can see here that the, this is, look, this is some amazing information here. If you go through this and just see what it's about. Okay. It's incredible actually what they're doing this company I'm well impressed with it okay so anyway this is the exp I already know about this but I encourage you to look over all the, all the light paper and, and check it out yourself okay so I'm going to go here back to the add-ons I'm going to now add this to cart okay you can see up here now I'm going to come all the way down and you can see now it's a thousand and fifty in total okay that's for the subscription which you need in order to purchase a node all right and now i'm going to click on continue all right okay so the billing address i'm just going to uh oh this is for the you know what this is actually for the uh subscription okay so you do need to actually pay for this uh looks like with a card from memory i think you might have to so i'm just going to fill in my details okay so it just gave it just wanted the billing address okay so uh but i can still pay with this with bitcoin okay so i've just gone to the next page so you can see here look you can choose any of these options if you can all right you can go through coin payments so like if you don't want to do it with bitcoin if you want to go through coin payments here you can pay with ethereum or, or whatever coin payments has to offer which is a, a lot of currencies all right so i'm going to choose bitcoin all right so 1050 all right so that's for the x Bellar node which i'm really happy to get this i'm actually glad because i was going to buy my wife one anyway for her birthday so this is cool uh so and this is a subscription right here okay so proceed to make payment okay so right here uh let me just grab this wallet i've got a little bit of bitcoin in this wallet i think in this portfolio here Okay, so what I'm going to do, so what you need to do is you need to copy this address. Okay, so whatever wallet you're using, I'm using Exodus here. Let me just see if I can pull this across. And I'll put it right about here. Okay, so I need this much Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to uh, click on send on my wallet. Okay, I'll just pull this down. Now the Bitcoin address. All right, so let me just pin this first so that it stays on top for this video. And into pin mode and I'll just pin that to make sure it stops when I'm clicking on this just a little trick it's called desk pins if you want it for videos it's pretty cool keeps the windows on top when you click on the other one so you can click on this and it stays on top it's pretty cool okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first I'm going to click this and just copy the address all right and then I'm going to put the address in here all right and then I'm going to copy that exact amount right here copy that and then I'm going to put that in here. Okay. Then I'll click on send. All right. I'll just pull that up. Click on send. It's done. Okay. Now this should, it usually doesn't take too long before it actually, actually recognizes the payment. Okay. So there we go. All right. It's already completed. And here's the invoice. Okay. So now uh, my wife officially owns an XBLA. Uh, no, and she's got a membership. All right, so that's cool. So that's how you do it. Now, what you'll need to do is you need to be activated by me. Okay, so in order to do that, you can contact me, but I will show you uh, just so you can see this. So you can see this because you'll need this for if you plan on building a team, you'll need to know this as well. Okay, because if you don't do this, uh, then the node won't get activated. Okay, so let me just uh, bring this. Now, if I let me just see. Okay, so let me just show you this. Okay, this is in my account. Okay, so I'm going to pull this across right here. 
and then we just line that up. Now, if you go to manage network, okay, so this is if, if somebody has used your link, okay, so I'm showing you both sides of the coin here, signing up and buying it, buying your node as well. But if you plan on having people sign up under you, you'll also need to know this. And I'm showing you this because I need to activate you. If you've signed up using my link, I need to activate you, all right, um, before you can use anything, before it activates, all right. So make sure that you contact me. All right, as soon as you've signed up. So as you can see here, you go to manage network and you go to holding tank. Okay, holding tank is where everyone's being held prior to them being activated. All right, you can see that Ivykins, this is my wife. All right. Now what you need to do is you need to place them. Now I'm going to go into placement and all that in another video, but for now I'm actually just going to place her so I can show you and get through this. All right, so this is what I'll be doing with you. If you've signed up using my link, I'll be, and your name's right here in my holding tank, this is what I'll be doing with you, okay? So I'm going to come here, and I'm just going to click on, uh, actually first, I'm going to go to placement structure, and I'm going to open that in another tab, okay? And then here, what you've got to do is you've got to place them in your binary system, okay? This is if you're team building, right? And if somebody uses your link, you need to do this. So I'm just going to click on placement. Okay, now I'm putting them on the right leg because it's, look, this is a little bit more complex and I don't want to get too too far into it, but I just want to show you that I need to activate you. So I'm just walking you through this a little bit. This is only if people have used your link, okay? You've used my link, so you don't have to worry about this. If you're not building a team, don't have to worry about, about this part of the video, all right? So um, I'm going to come back to my placement structure and I've got to come, I'm actually building this side, all right? So I'm going to come right down. Right down to the bottom, pull this across, pull this across, and keep going down here, okay, keep going, got to come right down to the bottom, because this is where you got to place them, you always place them at the last one, okay, so now what I've got to do is I've got to get the username, so I'm going to click on that, I'm going to get his username, okay, and this helps them too, okay. This helps people in my downline as well, okay, on their binary. All right, so I'm going to copy that. Now, just remember, if all you're after is to be activated, you don't need to worry about this. You can fast forward the, the, um, the video. Okay, so now I'm going to put that in here, but I'm going to show you how I activate you. This is how I activate you, all right? This is what I've got to do to activate you, okay? And where I place you matters, all right? So now I'm, uh, hold on, just let me put that in there click on there so now I know that he's going to be the parent to this next one to my wife okay so he's he's the actual parent to my wife my wife is coming under him now I'm going to click on save it'll ask you yes allocate user so now that I've allocated my wife or you if you're using my link now your node will get activated okay and you'll be able to do what you need to do so if I actually come back to here I know that this is going to keep going like that but I can actually come back to here and I'll just, so see here, this one here, this is where I just placed them, underneath this one, okay? So if I actually refresh this, and I'll just have to come down through this again. I know this is a bit long, this video, but I want to just cover a few things for you, just in case you plan on, you know, building as well. I'll go into more details in another video in this, but, you know, uh, it's a good time to show, at least get your feet wet and give you an understanding, because this project is incredible. You can make a lot of money. If you really want to, you can make a lot of money doing this. Um, so it's important that you understand uh, if that's your plan. If you don't plan on having anyone use your referral or, or you know, building your building a team, then no worries. <laughs> right, Wendy Rivers, that's my wife's name. Okay, and she's under who I just placed her. All right, so now she's active. So now her node will go active. So if I come, now that I've done this, okay, uh, if I come back to her account, I'll just refresh this. Uh, okay, so she's gone out of the holding tank. Let me just move this back. Okay, now let's get that back to my wife's account. Okay, which would be your account if you've used my link. Now, what you need to do is you need to create your debt box, uh, link it with debt box, and activate on this side. So what you do is you go to go to products. All right. Now, if you've been activated, you'll be able to get this screen. If you haven't been activated, you won't even be able to get to the screen. Okay, 
So just understand that if you have an error trying to get to this, so just remember, come back here, you got to click on go to products. Now, like I said, if you have, if I haven't activated, you won't be able to do this. All right. So go to products. Now you need to click on Xnode account. All right. So click on this. Now, as you can see, there is nothing activated right now. Now it takes time to kick in and normally the nodes activate at 5 p.m. PST. Okay. So that's Los Angeles time. All right. But what you can do is you can create a uh, account. All right. With, with Debtbox because Debtbox is the actual back office for your nodes, not IX Global. Debtbox, who are the original creators. All right. Remember, IX Global buys node licenses off the debt box, all right, at a cheap price, and that's why we can get them. Now, IX Global is the one that offers this whole binary system where if you're a team builder, you can make money. But if you're not, it doesn't matter either way, okay? So what you want to do is you want a temporary temp login credentials, all right, you click on that. Okay, if there's an issue with your account, don't worry about that. Log in to Xnode, all right, uh, and let's see if I can log straight in. All right, I've already created that account. Let's see if it works here. Uh, okay, incorrect credentials. Uh, okay, so what I'll do is I'll actually just create an account. All right. Uh, let me just get that rid of that. Okay, so I'll create an account. Hold on, let me just check my email here to make sure there's nothing come through there. Just got to download that. You'll get an email uh, that will verify your subscription agreement and refund policy. Okay, so make sure you download that and save it. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an account uh, here. Okay, and then I'm putting in the same email. Uh, don't worry about that. You don't need to put anything in there. And I'll just put the password in here. Okay, and then I'll just repeat that. Okay. Okay, and then I agree. Uh, what's that? Not sure why that is. Why is that not letting me? When do you... Maybe I have to type this by hand. You know, uh, you know, do it by hand, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if it works now. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. No, still not letting me. Why is that? When do you... What have I done wrong here? No, that was done. Maybe it's the password. No, the password looks all right. Uh, okay, I'll put it in here. I don't know. Passy. No, it's definitely not that. So I'm not too sure why this is not actually picking it up. Uh, it could be that the passwords are different. Now it says actually that the passwords don't match. So I remember doing this uh, another time, and I remember there was a problem with this, and I couldn't remember exactly what it was to get the. Oh! <laughs> okay, here we go. Click on Terms and Conditions. All right. I do this a lot. Okay, so just make sure that that's done. Close. Now you can agree. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, I tell you, okay, now sign up. All right, your email is already registered in our system. Oh, actually, uh, she might actually still have an account. I might have actually created an account already. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I might have actually created an account because I was going to create a video with this, a video tutorial. Let me see if I can log in with this. Oh, yes. Okay. Social media update. We're excited to announce the launch of our official. Okay. All right. So there we go. 
All right, so just make sure that when you uh, create an account on here, that you use the same email and the same name as the uh, IX Global account. All right, same name. All right, same name, same email. And then what will happen if you go to rewards? You can see that there's nothing active right now. Okay, but what will happen is when your node is activated, it will show up here because I, I bought the XBLR. Okay. So sorry about all those little bits and pieces that I couldn't get 100% right, but I was just trying to, just trying to remember the, the, the process, but I, I forgot that I'd already created an account for her. All right. So I'd done this prior. All right. So, uh, that's, that's all you need to do. And then once you've, uh, now look, any further information, this is just showing you how to sign up. And then I'll be doing more videos. You'll see videos coming out on, you know, how to claim rewards and, uh, you know, you can exchange it for the DEP token, which is the actual universal token for this project. Okay. You can, uh, once you get rewards for your, for your mining, for your nodes, if you want to sell them, you can do that. You can exchange them on PancakeSwap. Uh, so all that top, all those options are available, but please join my Discord, our, our community Discord group. Join that. Uh, because then you'll be able to learn a lot more. And if you've got any questions, you can come into that group and you can ask me and I'll help you. And if I can't, somebody else will. If I'm not there for some reason, somebody else will help you. Okay. So I hope that's helped. Now just remember, uh, this project, I am very bullish on this project. Okay. Um, extremely bullish. Just remember that when you go through and have a look at, see right here. So, uh, an, activa an activation fee will be included for each package purchase. Okay, so what you'll need to do is if you want to upgrade, so actually this has got a bit of a special on at the moment. All right, so I didn't realize that they were taking that off, so that's cool. So it doesn't actually cost you, it's just it's taking the $50 off the price, okay, which is cool. I didn't realize that they did that. But so you can upgrade here, okay? Um, and then if you don't want to upgrade, but you just want to purchase another node, okay, you can just click on purchase add-ons only, all right, come to here, and then you've got all the nodes again. Now you'll notice that now that I've purchased one XPLR node, you can't buy another one, a single one, you'll see here, okay, so you have to buy two on the next one, okay, or a second order, actually maybe I have got a second order, let me have a look. Uh, no, there is not a second order, but you do get a second order on these other ones, but not on this actual, this particular one. Okay, so I hope that's helped. Remember, join the group, come and see us down there, and uh, if you need any help, I hope this has helped you. I hope you like this project. I'm really bullish. I love this project. So many, you know, moving parts to it, but it's incredible. I can see this being incredible. Look, anything that's backed by real world assets and doesn't require all the capital, all the investment that's coming in to be inside crypto. Remember, the revenue is coming from commodities, real-world commodities like oil and natural gas and aluminum, right, and all these things. This is what makes this project so special. It is the first of its kind, all right? I'll see you in the next one.